Hello and welcome to the 49 tutorial in the Covecast 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be detecting when the mouse wheel has been scrolled. We'll be using the source code from the 48th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Covecast 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for mouse recognition in the form of events. We will take a look at detecting when the user has scrolled the mouse wheel. Bear in mind you will obviously need a device with a mouse and obviously a mouse with a mouse wheel. So pretty much all mobile devices are out of the question. But for mobile devices you can use touch which we covered earlier in this series as a substitute for certain mouse events. Let's open up our app.js which contains our current layer and that's where we'll be coding our mouse wheel scrolled. Code. So, put a comma here and do on. I think you can sort of guess if you've been following these past few tutorials what it's going to be on mouse scroll colon function. And in here, I'm going to put event cc.log. And what we're going to do is scroll. Uh, we're just going to print out the location that we're scrolling as well. So get location x, save that, and what we're going to be doing, we're going to be running it in a web browser. But first of all, obviously, we need to open up terminal, chain directory to a project directory, run the code cost command. Let's just open up the console. Refresh. If I move onto it, it says mouse moved, and now if I scroll, I'm scrolling with the mouse well, and it is letting me scroll, which is pretty cool. Obviously, if I scroll over here, it scrolls, but obviously the value that's printed out for the x position is different because it was further to the end on this side. So that is it. That's how you detect when a mouse wheel has been scrolled. So we are able to detect all the main mouse events. A lot of tasks for you to do. Look at the Cocos 2 JS API guide and just see what other functionality is provided for mouse, like the different location. Obviously you can get the location for Y. You can get other properties from events. Look at them as well because there's quite a lot of functionality. In the next tutorial we will cover setting up keyboard events. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.